Italy demonstrates a new type of airplane. Its main feature is an upper wing that swivels from side to side, enabling the pilot to make turns without using the rudder. The inventor claims that with this machine it's impossible to go into a spin or to side slip. If you watch carefully, you can see the upper wing swaying from side to side. Who knows, it may be a revolutionary new principle in aircraft design. The Army presents something different in physical training. This new type of drill is above all cheap. It requires no expensive built-up horizontal or parallel bars, no vaulting horses, no ropes or rings. It's all done with six-foot ash poles, and yet it covers the whole range of normal exercises. Instructors of the Army School of Physical Training at Aldershot give a final demonstration before setting out on a tour of British schools to show their methods to local instructors. So maybe soon boys all over the country will be taking this new road to health and strength. For this one, the pole is held between the feet. And here's the new game. If the pole drops, the man who fails to catch it is out. The motorcycles take the stage at Brooklands for the track's last two-wheel meeting of the season. Today's big prize is the Hutchinson Challenge Cup, a hundred-mile race round the main circuit, a hundred miles of speed and thrill. And first man home is S.H. Goddard. To students of international affairs, we announce the formation of a new dictatorship. From all parts of the country, the loyal citizens arrive for a great mass meeting. Those who have plotted to overthrow the state are held up to the ridicule of their comrades. Others who have committed political crimes are thrown into prison. And now silence, the dictator speaks. I think they know very well. Now they want their heaven. If only they knew where this dictatorship leads. So like 13, 13, and a half, 13 and a half, 13 and a half, 13 and a half. All With its silver, slippery cargo, the British heading fleet returns to harbour at the start of the season. But it isn't true that they've all been across the Atlantic like the girl Pat. Most well-behaved fishing boats think she's rather fast. This year the catch has been good, the weather not too bad considering, and now the only big question is how the sales will go at the market. For on the price they get for their fish, these hardy sailors depend for their livelihood during the long winter months ahead, when the boats are laid up and storm winds howl across the harbour bar. The silver fish must turn to silver shilling. Taking a short time off from death-defying days on the Spanish front, our cameramen visit Burgas, headquarters of General Franco's forces. There they find a nation on the march, men, boys, and even children, drilling to fit themselves for some small part in this all-encompassing war. 